guys, my name is Monica and welcome to my channel. So today, I must admit, I'm very nervous because this is my first ever voiceover, especially on the YouTube, as you all know, like, I have a new channel, I still didn't grow quite a lot, but I still... I still see that there is a lot of you who are quite interested in my channel so I'm still quite nervous about this one and I'm hoping everything will get well <laughs> so today we are doing a tiny hippie trailer I was I was having like this vision of having one couple in here that really are into 70s hippie style and they like to like to live in this little trailer in the uh, in the woods or on some i don't know area uh, near the water or anywhere else uh, in the nature in the world because they're traveling a lot so they have this tiny little trailer to uh, go around the world and experience everything nature finding new people and like very very happy living i would say <laughs> so here we are in the exterior of our tiny little build I wanted to make something special with this roof. I want to uh, I wanted them to have a lot of space outdoors since they don't have uh, a lot of space indoors. It's kind of made to have a lot of friends so they can they can hang out here in the out outdoor space and just enjoying the little happy hippie life. <laughs> So, I put some uh, windows and doors from Realm of Magic. I know that sounds uh, kind of odd, I would say, because, you know, Realm of Magic and hippie style, it doesn't necessarily go very well together, but this time I had a feeling that this is going to be perfect for this build. Because we have some of these doors and windows that they have that very colorful colorful glass on them. So that really kind of fits the theme that I was going for. I really wanted to use a lot of different patterns and colorful packs, I would say. So I mostly use probably Jungle Adventure, Movie Hangout... We have some stuff from a laundry day. Well, a lot of cute, cutesy patterns and very happy stuff, I would say. Also, city living and stuff like that. So, I did this a little trailer here in the Winderberg. Because that's, that's probably my favorite place to build. And also this time, this area was just perfect for the thing I was going for in this build. As you can see, I changed the wallpaper of my house. Because I just wanted, to, wanted it to be even more hippie, even more happy. So I used this... Uh, yellow wall from island living it's kind of a wooden texture in it and it, it's really i think it came out very very cutesy daisy in here so i'm just adding some more decorations on the outdoors so it look like more more lived in i would say when i will I will say more live than probably a lot in every each of one of my builds because I really always trying to do that my builds look very very lived in. I'm I like to pay atten pay attention to details and I like to clutter stuff a lot. So 
yeah, that's basically my style. I'm definitely not into minimalism or anything like it. I'm really not into it. I mean, um, I'm doing a lot of things. You will notice probably that I really go into a lot of different themes, even uh, historical themes or uh, architecture of other countries. I really like to play a lot of with with a lot of uh, different elements in architecture and history, but minimalism <laughs> minimalism is just not who I am, unfortunately. So you are not going to see a li- uh, a, a lot <laughs> minimalistic houses around here. So this pergola is. Um, base game actually i think it's uh just recently added because i don't remember did i ever use it i think not and it looks very very pretty with these little flowers on it and little cur- curtains and it's pretty pretty cute i would say and i'm also adding this little outdoor um, living <clears throat> living area and this little grill also from the base game I think it's Mexican inspired I would say it looks like that to me and actually I can relate that to to the hippies because they the Mexicans all, also have the that um, a cute sense of style with with the patterns and happy colors I also add this outdoor shower in here I actually don't remember why I wanted to do that but it kind of fits the theme in here because all of that uh, good out door life I would say so if they just go on a trip to Solani or something like that they have this cute outdoor shower so they can get there pretty pretty quickly and they have curtains around it so they have little privacy in there so we are going on to the kitchen I used uh, probably the most jungle adventure uh, stuff in here i used this stove from Parenthood, and at the end i used the fridge uh from i think um that that little that little tiny one i think it's from discover university I think it's from Discover University. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I forget where are the stuff from. And I must admit, I usually play with a lot of CC around. And this time, this time I didn't want to use CC. So... There are unfortunately some people who cannot use the CC in their games. So every once in a while, I really want to do a build without CC. And one of those were th- was this one. <laughs> and I think it looked so cute even without CC. Though I forgot to uh, take my red shelf from Amoebae that I use all the time and I see a lot of YouTubers using it because we can place uh, stuff on the shelves and like that so much more easier and unfortunately I didn't use it in here so I had a lot more struggles with moving things I must admit so in this living area i was using a lot of movie hangout stuff and definitely uh city living i would say some jungle adventure so i'm basically using a lot of same uh, pegs throughout this building 
because they have like that definitely that sense of uh, aesthetics I was going for is as you can see I was also using platform for this uh, <clears throat> bedroom area I'm sorry my uh, throat is a little dry today I don't know what's happening <laughs> but I think it's going to be better I just I'm doing this in the morning, so I'm grumpy every morning. I can't help myself. I need some coffee <laughs> and then I'm going to be fine. So I was using these um, candles and everything all around this building. I really wanted to use these cute decorations and I also use this big fireplace uh, that's probably my favorite item from the game I'm using that quite a lot recently I downloaded one CC one from Felix Andre it uh, it has uh, candles already in it so that's my probably a uh, favorite CC one but yeah I, this time I use this from uh, it's not the base game, but you can download it for free. It's from Holiday Pack, so we can all get it. <laughs> I had quite a struggle with this platform, though. As you all know, uh, the, our platforms are still glitchy. And in my few flash builds, I just uh, stopped using platforms so much. I mean, I really love them, but they're so glitchy still i'm hoping and hoping that they are going to fix that because my stuff are like falling off into the floor and it's getting quite you know well <laughs> it's complicated to to move stuff around to me i would say I need to size them up, size them down, size them all over the place and I don't really like that. I just want to put my stuff where I want them to go and platforms are not so easy on that sometimes. So yeah, I'm just decorating space quite a bit in here as you can see. I'm using a lot of clutter and things. I used those hole on the walls because I kind of wanted to be, this trailer to be like old. Maybe, maybe their like grandparents or parents used that before because I had that idea in mind like they grew up as hippies. So probably they, their parents were hippies and yeah, they, they loved it. They, they loved it and they just go with that through, through their own, through their own lives. So I'm also, as you can see, decorating a kitchen a little bit more. And that's basically it for the interior. I will going to move on to uh, the exterior in quite a bit as you will see I'm adding just a little bit more uh, these curtains inside oh I I think I use this one it's from pets I think it's very nice and colorful and as you can see I also used these baskets on the wall I really do like these baskets and here I don't know if you can see that because I cut off all my struggles from this footage. I actually had the footage from like 20, 20 something minutes and I said no, it can't stay like that. It has too much struggles going on and moving my camera all the time so I just cut off that so 
We are decorating this roofing part. It's also for like our friends to get along in here. It's so romantic also. It has a lot of candles in here. And I think I also put a guitar out, out there so people can, you know, sing and write their own songs on this roof. And the cutest thing I think is that I put this fake grass in here. So it looks so, so nice. They have this nice view on this lake. And yeah, that's... I. This, this house actually looks like a lot, a lot of fun. I'm very happy about it. It was, it was a lot of fun doing it. It was a lot of fun doing it. And I'm really happy with this happy, happy result <laughs> I've got um, with this little hippie trailer. I just put some other flowers and here I think I also used a debug section I can see some stuff in here that we don't have in a regular game so thank you all so much guys that you were here with me uh, watching my YouTube channel and I'm hoping that you are liking these screenshots and that we are going to see each other very soon so bye guys have a happy life uh, take care of yourself and big big kisses for you all bye